I have a feeling. I know what it is. I have a feeling. I know what it is. I have a feeling we know what it is. I have a feeling we know what it is. Um. Um. Still there? Okay, cool. Wait, could it be? Could he have fixed it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get back into editing our da data here. Let's get our data going. I need to check my data. Uh, transmission. Where's the transmission button? I want transmission button. Uh, maybe engine AI drive train any. Here's our gears. So. <laughs> our. Yeah. Our gear ratios. Are fucking garbage. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to reset all these gear ratios because this is a nightmare. I don't know why I didn't check that. Check it out. Our fourth gear is not one-to-one. -one. <sighs> what were you thinking? Who built this mod? Uh, NSU TT gear ratios. Let's find out what they are in the real life. Uh, as if I'll be able to find this. Oh, it doesn't have the drag. Okay, we're looking. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I wonder. They got the track width and everything. That's cool. They got the curb weight, which is super low. 1,200 pounds. Um, don't think they have gear ratios for us. I have a feeling. Yeah, this is it's four speed. This is a car. It's a five speed. Okay, these are trash gear ratios. Let's just look up um, 46 gear ratios. No wonder the first three gears are useless. Actually, no. We're going to gear ratio calculator. Let's do it. Uh, Tremec. From Tremec comes the gear ratio calculator. Okay. Uh, tire height? I have no idea. Oh my god. Engine RPM. Uh, 4,000. Axle ratio. We're going to make our final drive as yeah, 3.9. We'll make a 4.1. Why not? Yeah. Uh, we're going to be 4... 4.1 and our tire height is large uh, no this is a shitty calculator I don't want that I don't want street gear ratios I need racing gear ratios stop giving me tire height I don't care about tire height you're dumb uh, we're gonna set uh, what is our car will be a 13 uh, what's a 235 millimeter 13 inch tire. Let's find out. No, we want 13 inch racing tires. Yeah, 225, 60. We're about 235. Um, yeah, tire diameter calculator. We're at 235, 60, ah, 50, R13 on this bad boy. So our overall diameter is 22.3 inches. All right. Uh, 4,000 RPM. 
bring in painting your size 4.1. Uh, this is useless to me. This is useless to me. This is not the right I need. <sighs> Ratio. I just want to spread the gears out evenly. I just need I need a a calculator that can help me fan gears if that makes sense. I don't Mazda Speed Miata. Not Michael Sean Morgan, who's my who I actually call MSM. He's a, a business partner of mine. Okay. No. No, none of this is right. Which game has a really good transmission gear ratio calculator in it? Son of a duck. Let's take a look at a couple others here. Um, I like how my car is so small at 22.3 inches. It's like, nah, I don't care about... Yeah, 27 inch. Great, cool. Uh, this is what I want. This, this is what I need. Yeah, let's see this. Show me this. For Windows. Uh, external mirror, thanks. Yes, exceptionally visual learner. I can't look at numbers. They don't work for me. I need to see things. Cool. That doesn't work. Okay. Uh, what are we looking at? Is there a special name to this? Damn it. I need to physically see the gaps. Ugh. The world is not designed for my brain. I've played a couple of video games that have done it really well, where you put in essentially like, um, yeah, you can, how do I even word this? You can just sort of grab a slider and move things across, and it'll adjust the gear ratios so that each gear is like equally spaced apart. I can type them all manually in, but my brain doesn't work on like doing uh, linear and nonlinear curves, if that makes sense. So I can't picture gear ratios in curves without a visual like this. I need the visual. Oh god, it's an XLS. Oh my god, panic. Uh, we'll just go to desktop. Do I have do I have the tools for this? I hate Excel. Oh no, panic. This is going bad. Oh my god. Ah, uh, final drive ratio. Nope, I hate this too. Heck you. Um, okay, screw it. We're out on this. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, first things first. We're going to solve some problems here. Uh, 1.1. One. Um... Make this one. 0.3. We really want these to be pretty close. Uh, come on. And 2.0. The 
car makes a lot of power. So there's no reason why we need a, a short first gear. Oh, he's whispering me. Let's do it. Let's whisper it up. Let's do it. Let's see here. So first gear gets us. Oh, this one's good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. This is dope. I'm excited about it. Um, automation should. I don't. I have automation uninstalled right now. Um, yeah. See, this thing is a mess. This car is a friggin' mess. Uh, six gear is trash. So let's let's play around here at 4.1. Calculate, and then tire diameter 22.3. Get in there. Um, fourth gear, yep. Yeah. Top gear is gonna be fifth gear. Third gear is trash. So let's bring this up to 1.3. Yeah. Let's put in the numbers I just made up off the top of my head to see how this looks. Uh, yeah, we could space those out a little bit differently. So let's bring this up to a 1.4. No, 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 a 1.2. I get, I have a, I have a severe dyslexia, I think. Um, 1.5. This isn't bad. First gear, how fast does first gear take us up to? 24 miles an hour. pH. KPH. Okay, second gear will get us up to 32. Oh, we got to bring this RPM up. Yeah, no, no, mom, help, help. How do I? Uh, where do I choose the RPM? This is all the possible RPM. Our car can go up to 9,500 RPM. Oh, max RPM. I'm derp. So we're shifting at about. Eh, so first gear will take us up to 73 miles. Oh my god. Uh, 73. Second. Third. Fourth is actually shorter than what we were running before. Um, and we've actually shortened up the rear end ratio. So this is not bad. Let's get into that setup there. So 1.5, 1.2. So I wasn't too far off with my guesses, but they just weren't perfect. Uh, that um that yeah Joe that was really dope I really like that we're gonna let's uh let's bookmark this because hell yeah that that is fucking dope I like that okay Joe to the rescue on this one all right let's get into this let's try our new gear ratios and see what third gear is like uh, fourth gear is like those are the ones that really matter to us. Uh, most of the time, you only spend a couple of minutes in a couple, in a gear anyway, so or a couple. Yeah, you only spend. Mo Luda, come on! I'm half asleep. I'm falling asleep at the wheel here. So let's do a launch here. Mom, help! So, our gears are feeling a little bit longer than we need to be. Game audio is gone? Ugh. Okay, we'll make some changes to that. Um, we're going to have to change these gear ratios anyways, so... Um, 
we can we can put that gear game. There we go. And uh, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna make some changes to that. Check fifth. Uh, I'm gonna bring up the rear rear end ratio quite a bit. We're gonna bring up the 477. Um, I found those gears were too long comparatively to the amount of grip we had. So I like this. This process is really neat. I'm having a lot of fun sharing this process with you guys. Uh, and I appreciate that you guys are watching it too. Uh, the car is rear engine. Yeah. Um, you can see the engine in the back. Um, we've done that on purpose. If you weren't here for our early parts of red build, um, uh, no rear engine is allowed uh, if the car originally came that way. So just putting a motor into the back of it is not okay. Um, Yeah, these are still too long. I've got to shorten these up quite a bit. Um, great question. I, I'll i grab you the link to the... Yeah. We had a stream earlier a, a, couple, a month or two ago where we actually went through the entire... Um, we went through the whole thing as a group and looked through it. So let's take a look here. Let's dig up. Uh, let's dig up uh, VDC. Actually, uh, rule book. And we'll search. Um, so I'll, I'll grab the link. You guys can take a look at it as well. There we go. That's the link for the 2000. Yeah, this is the 2019 rule book. Um, so pro class, eligible style, scoop, uh, wagon, ute, and more for also can file. No trucks or SUVs. Cars have to be rear wheel drive only. Um, drivers are allowed to change the tune of the cars, but changing parts is not allowed during the event. Drivers can change different chassis. Changing parts is allowed to one week prior to competition. Uh, vehicles are limited to size and rear tire size. You're required to use our competition tires. Modifications, and your modifications are open as long as they're not unrealistic. Um, should be any doubt, you have to prove that you have no curse system. Suspension, drivetrain, all mo drivetrain modifications are open. Um, uh, rear wheel drive only. And so, yeah, there is no requirement for me to have a front engine car. Uh, so yeah, you can download and save a copy of that for yourselves if you want. We're going to adjust these gear ratios a bit. We're going to bring this up to maybe one, three, seven, five, and calculate this up. Uh, five. 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 Seven, five. Yeah, we'll give this a go. We're gonna bring this up to a four nine. Um, two five. One seven. Seven, five. I might actually change these again anyways. Um, 
yeah to so that I am sitting in third and fourth right now with these changes and I'm now sitting in second and third Yeah, the uh, I had to I had to contact VDC directly to get that they wouldn't share it openly for some reason. Uh, I don't think there's any rules against me sharing it openly. So there's that. Car is bogging still. Oh, those cones, let me tell you what. No, all my... Okay, okay, okay. Quite interesting. Yeah, it's still it's still lacking. We've got to make some more changes here. Um, so let's bring this up to seven. One, uh, eight, five, uh, three, one, two, five. First gear can be pretty long, to be honest. You can purposely make it pretty long. Um, it, bog it bothers my OCD. Okay. Uh, it's still feeling... Still feeling a little bit boggy. Still feeling a little bit boggy. <laughs> there you go. There we are. Fifth gear, I mean, really should be almost like 0.9. We should even do a 0.95 on that. Like really short fifth gear, because we're not going to use fifth gear very often. So we might as well make it almost like a power up shift. Well, it's still overdrive. This is technically still overdrive. Um, it's just not much of an overdrive. Okay. Um, two nine. Eight five. Three one two five. I'm I'm kind of missing the old transmission. We'll fiddle with this enough. We'll break this car enough that it'll uh, uh, it'll eventually be back to feeling the same way. But right now it's feeling down on power. Because we're we've essentially um, neutered our torque by moving fourth gear up to a one to one, um, and so that kind of sucks. I'm not happy with that. I enjoyed being in fourth gear before. Second gear is almost too short.
a one make drift series like NASCAR. I think we should re just reinvent NASCAR itself as a drift series. Like a lot of those guys enjoy it anyways, so they might as well just make it a drift series. This is feeling very pooply. Pooply. This is feeling very pooply. So yeah, I would like NASCAR to progress into still using the current chassis, but just move into drifting, and they have lots of steering lock. And um, yeah, we're gonna do some weirds here. We're re we're gonna we're gonna do some weirds here. We're gonna do some real weirds here. We're going to put it back to where we were before, but we're going to adjust the third gear, uh, yeah, to be, <laughs> this is a bit strange, I know, I understand. Give this a try. We're just experimenting with the feel of the car. Well, fifth gear, it shouldn't be one to one unless you have a six speed, but we only have a five speed. In most transmissions, um, in most transmissions, the uh, fourth gear is one to one. So we are breaking the traditional rules here by building our transmission this way. Yeah, 200, 200 mile per hour 50 car tandems would be amazing. It really would take away from it. Um, I, I find F form of the drift is already pretty close to a one one make series even though the cars are all different most of them run there's about three basic engines that they run they almost all run the same transmissions and differentials the, the way that they cut up the cars and build the nose and the tail for them is really similar and so fd is almost there anyways you just get the benefit of having different looking exteriors of the cars um i think i think if there was um a feeder series what I mean by that is um, there's a big problem with Formula 2 right now where there are some guys in there, uh, guys and girls, I should say, that can drive really well. And then there are some drivers who have paid to be there. And you can clearly see the difference. And I think the feeder series shouldn't be about budgets. I think the pro series should be about budgets. And I think the feeder series should be about driver skill. And uh, maybe making FD2... Uh, a standardized chassis maybe like a factory five something like one of their their cobras or some sort of thing like that would be really cool um additionally there isn't there isn't any uh ir IRO, or uh iroc versions of drifting if you're not familiar with the uh, international race of champions or iroc um, it's where they get a bunch of really famous drivers together and they all have to drive the same cars uh, and it's a various like series of dis like different disciplines like there's rally and a few different anyways and whoever's the best driver of all those cars is the champion and not not any other way around 
so the, the international race of champions is really cool and i think there might be some opportunity for maybe a one year one time a year one make drift event which would be really cool where you get put in a car and that's it um let's try this guy out now <laughs> so yeah even if it wasn't a full-time thing but i really think like something like formula formula 2 the feeder series would probably benefit from being a one make better than uh, Formula One or Formula Formula Drift One series. This is feeling good. Uh, having, having drifted BRZs, I don't know why anybody wastes their time with any other car. Like, you just buy the car, you just start the engine, and you start drifting, and it drives really well. So this is starting to feel good. My driving skills is pretty low right now. Um, I'm going to shorten fourth up just a bit. So... Ooh, that makes a huge difference. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to make second maybe a bit sh longer then. Uh, I'll make first... The song's dope, by the way. And then fifth is 1.1. There we go. That's looking nice. Everything's underdrive, though, but I don't care. 2.6. Nine five three one five.
Um, uh, uh, yeah, having a standardized chassis weight, power, and tire really would really focus on great suspension developments and driver skill. Um, and the reality is that for the everyday average user um, of, of like a regular car uh, who wants to get into drifting, the suspension setup is really where, where the development needs to come from. I, I would, I like this GTA 6 idea. I, I would, I would support that. I would say that's a good idea. Um, and I would really like to see that F2. So everybody has to drive, you know, uh, Formula 2 has a brand sponsor. Maybe everybody gets Hyundai Genesis's or whatever the case may be. Um, they have a discounted price on purchasing that car to get into it. They're allowed a base engine that can't be opened up or something like that. And they can develop maybe their own turbo kit. Um, they can develop their own differential setup, uh, suspension setup, and then they go from there. So 350Z, um, I am helping a local gentleman. Uh, I would call him a teammate. Uh, I haven't officially made him a teammate, but I would call him a teammate. Uh, assemble a G35, which is mechanically the same as a 350Z. And they are very difficult to modify. Um, the front suspension is the culprit, and the reason uh, it has a problem is it has a floating kingpin angle, and you have to delete that to make it usable. The Ackerman is so extreme on it. So if you're if you're looking at the front of the car and you were to like rotate the car up, so you're looking underneath the car, um, the leading tire versus the trailing tire is extremely aggressive. The other problem is that the the wheelbase, like from the front tires to the back tires, gets longer and shorter as you turn the wheels too. They don't stay beside each other, they actually move. And it's actually really difficult to tune. Um, it can be done, but it's it's a lot of work. Uh, I would say that E36, yeah, E36, E46 is the cheapest per dollar to jump into at this current time of, of history. Alexi's answer is always still the best answer. It depends on where you live. Uh, but the E36 for... <laughs> so E36 is amazing car if you live uh, up north of the equator. <laughs> if you live south of the equator, no one got E36s. Um, which is a weird observation. Joe, like E36, it should be million. There should be millions of those for you. Son of a bitch. My suspension feel damaged. Is that my grip level? That's what the gray is. It's my fucking grip level. So if I'm. Yeah. Okay, this car is not feeling balanced still. We've broken the balance a little bit here. <laughs> yeah, the um, like a 325 uh, is is probably like a E36 325. You shouldn't need to do much mods to it. Even a um, like uh, what, is it, what would it be an E34 525i? Wouldn't be terrible. We're gonna move this up to a four one, I think. We'll give that a try. I just am feeling like like I'm to the floor and I need to rotate the car a bit more, and I just don't have enough torque to rotate the back of the car.
See, I'm still bogging in fourth. Ugh. I don't want to add power to the car. That's what's bugging me. Okay, we're gonna go 4-3 in the back of this. Dude, the first thing you do to any BMW is put, oh trash, Ugh, is put a completely different cooling system in it. It's really the only thing that they need as far as I can tell. Like, you really don't need to do too much, but the, the like, the plastic stuff is just worn out. It's just old and worn out. When they're brand new, sure, that stuff's amazing, but... We are get generating a lot of traction. Like, I'm very happy. Oh, I went to fifth. The car has become very drivable, which is good. I think the the motor will last a lot longer if you were to replace the cooling on it, though. Ugh. Still can't run that wall consistently. I'm having trouble with the rear proximity. Uh, the car feels a lot better. We're gonna make we're gonna make the slightest change here. Actually, bring it to three five. Uh, yeah, we'll do a four. This is starting to feel comfy. 
I'm using a G27. I have uh, my own steering wheel that I've 3D printed for it that has a lot more offset and is a lot larger than the original one. Um, I also use an extended shift knob and um, currently um, I, ha I am printing a uh, handle for myself as well. Uh, I don't like using the e-brake, but I want to. Ha I don't have one currently, and I just enjoy having maybe a bit of a crutch. The handbrake is a crutch. I could add a little bit of rear camber, yeah. The only problem with adding the rear camber is um, if I ever run into a situation where I transition. Um, so let's say I have the camber camber on the tire and I have the road that's totally fine I have less tire touch in the road so yeah that's predictable if the road is perfectly flat but anytime the road changes um, camber uh, yeah, I guess uh, I might run into suddenly new grip uh, I'm sure I can learn to drive through it uh, I just like the zero the zero camber setup because um, I'm trying to get as much rear grip as possible uh, the goal here is to build everything to fit the tire. So just uh, if you've ever read my big PDF on um, getting into drifting, all choices should be made from the tire. And I, I, yeah, so I would like to change the gear ratio. I'd like to change the power before I change the tire. Um, I want to make sure the tire is 100% uh, uh, getting as much traction out of it as possible and build everything around that. Fuck, I messed it up. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad, I'll be honest here. Other than that stupid limiter sound. Oh, grip, 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 grip. Okay. This is feeling good. Uh, I find that I, I like when I was so I was drifting in Japan and a bunch of the guys the Japanese guys made fun of me for touching the 80 brake and ever since then I stopped I just it's really hard on the transmission it's really hard on the car and it, it's well just hard in the diff drivetrain in general and it wears out your tires quicker and it's just yeah it's less smooth and so I try to clutch kick and uh, e-brake as little as possible when I drive. Uh, I will use those tools when I need to, but I try to avoid using them. Like duct tape's a tool too, but you don't you want to use that last minute, like last yeah. Uh, the gear change f me up there. Yeah, and I'm finding that, that I'm having that same issue uh, as Jamie mentioned there, that I'm I have so much rear grip that sometimes I just need to use the e-brake. It's such a. Let's switch tracks here because I want to see, um, for comparison, what it's like to drive back on Sakuba again. Um, before 
It's going to be bedtime pretty soon here, but I would really like to see... Yeah, um, like anything, I want to drag my own personal style into what I'm doing with me. Not that it's my really style if it's <laughs> people making fun of me and I'm adjusting to their criticism, so I don't know if that's really my own style, but... Okay. This starting here is hilarious, because you launch, and then you're in the grass if you do it wrong, like... This is also a really difficult entry, which I fucked up. It's the Kuba backwards for some reason, and I don't know why. Son of a duck. Uh, the clutch time. Is that a thing in this? I noticed just when I shifted into fourth there, I let the clutch out, and then eventually, after a while, the clutch in the game actually responded. Ooh. I have so much rear grip, it's crazy. You can download some VDC cars and try them out. We should do a comparison one night to see where we're at. I'll leave it in third for this. Okay, so third gear is our jam for this one. Um. Does anybody know how to permanently delete that stupid damage meter every time it comes up? It's like, hey man, like get out of my face. I'm trying to look out the window where I'm going. So bad. It's so unsettling to drive Sakuba the wrong way. There we go. A somewhat clean run. Not the best, but...
Backwards entries for support. Damage this player and change time to zero. That's the best. That's the best. Okay. Let's do that right now. Because I... Okay, actually, let's uh, first watch that replay. Let's study our car here. I hate the damage indicator. Need to work on my lines. Four wheel slide, there we go. Car's got plenty of power, I feel. I mean, we might find out later that I need to up the power, but. Yeah, okay, let's make that adjustment quick, and then we'll do some more practice runs, because I'm having a good time. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, da -da -da. system, CFG, okay. Uh, set a Corsa, system, CFG, and damage displayer. Oh my god, time is zero. Well, save. I hate it. It's always bothered me since the first time I opened. Let's take a look here. <laughs> 800 pounds, or 800 horsepower or nothing? You know, it might come to that, to be honest. We might have to do that. Um, uh, we'll, we'll do another stream another night where we go through the... Um, some of the other VDC cars. I find most of them are pretty undrivable though. Like they're either designed for work with a keyboard or some stupid shit and they like drive like garbage. Can't lift in this car. You can't. It has to. You have to be on it all the time. Haha! -ha, the damage displayer. Tried to show us problems and it couldn't. It's still a little distracting. It flicks up for like less than a second. Rollers are the best cars. What are you talking about? Mom, help! Oh my God, the boat. Yeah, it's it's basically an MR2. Yeah. Uh, rules don't let us have two billion horsepower. Somewhere around the 460. For a thousand kilogram car, that's tons. 
And then we basically have a race transmission hit that is like a crazy torque multiplier. You ever power shifted the fifth out of the corner? Oh, this is so, this is night and day comparatively to our first stream. Oh, I'm shallow, that's okay. Ah, mom, help. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, you missed. There's a there was a swear filter there, which is okay, but uh, yeah, for a, for a for a German car from the 1960s, it's got tons of horsepower. But again, we're trying to be competitive, so we'll have to see what it is comparatively to the rest of the field. Four wheel lockup. Nope, mom, I died. I like doing four-wheel lockups in real life. I use them instead of e-brakes at, at uh, the local track. Oh, I touched the grass. Don't touch the grass. Unless you want to hit a cameraman. I managed to find the, the gap in the fence, too, where you're not supposed to go. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at some replays here. Ooh. It's starting to get late. It's, I think, 1 in the morning now. Oh, that's so rude. <laughs> I called somebody out. I think I was I was playing Arma, and the the guy used uh, basically the word like the like like the f word as his um between every single word. It felt like I was talking to a hockey player interview, except they were just like only swearing. <laughs> you guys use the C word down there, and that's a term of endearment. It's when you call somebody old mate that you hate them. I like how... The <laughs> My favorite part is the auto mod doesn't like another word, but that word was okay. Way to go, auto mod. I, I, you know, I don't really care too much about the, like, swearing in Twitch. I just seem to want to achieve the goal of not doing it and I, I, I myself swear aggressively when off stream yeah exactly yeah that's I learned that pretty aggressively Yeah, you either have to be sideways or you're screwed. They gotta stay to the grass. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is good. We got ten minutes before one. I'm gonna I'm gonna end our stream at one, I think.
Oh. Some aggressive threshold breaking to get us back to where we need to be. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, they do run, that is exactly what they do. Um, and I don't want to do that, but I want to be competitive. I didn't get on the throttle soon enough. There's some backies for you. So I'm really finding that the angle that works good for this car is straight out the front. So if I point the, the like if I see the exit cone and I just get the car like pointed like exactly to where that exit cone and just hold the throttle, it takes me there. I think yeah, that's sort of my strategy. I would say that's a good strategy. I gotta fix that noise. I hate that limiter noise. Oh my god! I died. Police. Um, I don't know about the advantage. I find my inconsistency is is is, is in the transition. But it's again mostly driver skill, not car based at this point. So get it pointed to the exit. Let's keep it tromped. And it aids out. There we go. the brake, point it to the next transition zone, point the nose to the next transition zone, stay on the throttle, try to stay on the track so I have traction. <sighs> um, I think the advantage comes from the, the lightweightness. What I'm ultimately looking for is mid-corner advantage, so by having the rear weight bias, by having the early torque, and by maximizing the available traction, like balancing the power to grip ratio, I, I really want more push than everybody else so that I leave in the center of the corner. I just leave them behind. I'm falling asleep at the steering wheel here. Like once I'm settled in the drift, I just want to be able to leave them behind like they're gone. My goal is to be able to accelerate while they're decelerating.
That was bad. Car is very, very tail happy or tail heavy. So by letting off the throttle, the car wants to rotate. <laughs> It'd be neat to uh, to compare some VDC people. I don't think I'm my my drive consistency is good enough yet to really start thinking about competing. But um, but we are making progress. That's where I needed the e-brake there. Actually, I should have just left foot brake. That that was dumb. Yeah, in the in the tandem runs, you, you do get uh, do get a little bit lost. Oh, you can hear the you can hear my brain slowing as I'm falling asleep. <laughs> uh, it doesn't cost anything to to participate. Um, the problem with VDC is it's overpopulated. So they have too many drivers, and so you have to qualify for it. And so I just enjoy trying to qualify and see how it goes. Good run too. Also, this song is dope. Oh, those cones! Yeah, I'm I'm fading. Need either 13 energy drinks or good night's rest. Um, there's a couple battle magazine in, in Japan and motorsports circuit motorsports competition would do three person runs. Usually you'd pick it with a teammate though, like you pick out buddies that you like to drive with. Um, so you would you would pick like you and two guys that you know you can tandem with well, and then you would have a, a, a team showing I guess if that makes sense. You show how good your team is, and then they would pick the best team. Oh, heck you, heck you. <laughs> yeah well they still run competitions like that most people don't know MSC or Motorsports Challenge in Japan still runs that format like Whew. 
Yeah, Gapel in Norway would be crazy. I know Alexi came and saw you guys. He was hanging out with us in here a little bit earlier. He's a good dude. Watching that one, that one was okay. Woo. Okay, boys, the gloves are off. So gate is street and bill is car, or gate is car and bill is street. <laughs> so, okay, gate bill, that makes sense, street car. Whew, okay. I gotta say goodnight. It has been a very good stream. Uh, I've been I've been really enjoyed the chat tonight too. Uh, you guys have been really good. Um, yeah. Well, we have that same problem. Uh, street cars here in uh, in Victoria. It, yeah, that's a whole other story for another time. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Um, the typical things of speedhero.ca and speedherowheels.com. Those typical things and Patreon and all that stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching i very much enjoyed chatting cars with you and i'll chat cars more often with you guys uh so uh good night and thanks for watching bye <laughs>